Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Yuzu emulator for Android. First, we need to go on the Google Play Store and search for Yuzu. There's two versions, a paid one or the free one. I'm going to use the free one here. We install that. Once installed, open the app. We grant permissions. Then it's going to ask for the production keys. This is what you would get off your jailbroken switch. Then your game folder where your games are stored. I will leave a link in the video description of the Yuzu quick start guide just to help you through this part. Product keys and games can be found if you know where to look on Google. So I'm going to start Mario Kart and then we are going to be hit with another problem which Google search would help you out and that is we need a saved file as this appears you can't go any further so a bit of Google searching you will get the saved file or tar file once you've downloaded it you're gonna to have to use your file explorer on your Android device and you're gonna to have to go into your internal drive Android and it's data and you find the Yuzu app. I'm going to open that. Files. Then NAND file system contents registered. And you're going to copy all what you have downloaded, the saved file, into this folder. I've already done it. And then you would restart the game and then you can choose your player and you're ready to go now this is on a samsung galaxy tab s9 and it runs no problem whatsoever even the settings i haven't changed the settings this is all on default You do get quite a lot of options on the Yuzu app by swiping from the left. You have your normal settings. I haven't actually touched any of these, but if you can go in, if, you, if it was running, you had frame drops or stuttering, you can change it. My tablet's running the Snapdragon 8 processor and it runs Mario Kart. No problem. The overlay options, good if you're going to use it as a handheld, but if you were going to use it with a Bluetooth game controller, you can turn it off. Gameplay here, using it handheld, it's very good. And with a controller, it's just like playing it on the Switch. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.